Fry Fry Friday on Water Change Wednesday? What the? Well, hello, fishy folks from Japan. If you're watching this on the release day, I'm probably still on a plane. It's a 14 hour flight from JFK in New York to uh, Narita Airport in outside of Tokyo to the east of Tokyo um, then it's a three-hour bus ride to my final location so it's a long day it's about 24 hours from start to finish from the time I leave my house to the time I get to the hotel but you know it's fine so today is fry fry Wednesday and what I mean is there is a ton of new fry in the fish room you can see in the middle of the screen there's a tiny tiny itty bitty fry that was born probably last night or yesterday sometime uh, I did move this Java moss looking for fry and about 50 of them popped out so this is the purple Delta tank um, if you remember I got these guys at uh, the Bucks County Aquarium Society auction and there were two pair and I was a little surprised I didn't drop fry sooner, but here we are. The colony has begun. In addition, I also found new fry in a blue-black swordtail tank, which of course I can't find right now. Oh, there's one way in the back corner. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Not focusing, but trust me, there's fry in here. Oh, and next door in the uh, half black AOC tank, there was fry. There's one on the bottom. There's a couple on the bottom swimming around. So that's kind of cool. Of course, we have the high fin sunset platy fry. There's about a gajillion in there. But as far as new fry, if we go over to the Red Russian Lace Tank, uh, I don't know what that is in that plant, right? 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 That's my finger, right there. It's not a dead fish, though, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, there's one underneath the sponge filter. There's about, I saw, I saw about 20 in here, so hopefully there's more. Red Russian Lace Fry, and of course, Two batches of what are we gonna call these I thought they were called half blacks but they're nicer than regular half blacks because I have the regular ones so whatever these are called there was a second batch of fry dropped because they're quite a bit smaller than the first batch uh, so yeah lots of fry in the fish room of course the black pandas continue to spit out fry as do the um, bluegrass Still not seeing many males in the bluegrass, so we'll have to see what happens there. But the uh, black pandas, there are some males when I get back that will be back up for sale. So if you're interested, keep an eye out on my videos. And uh, if you hear me say, yes, black pandas are available, that means, yes, black pandas are available. There's still one fry in this bucket, and I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Um... There it is. You can even see it's getting bigger. It's putting on some size. The problem is, I don't know what tank to put it in. Like, is it a guppy? Let's see, where can it come from? I use this bucket to clean out sponge filters. So it could have come from one of the sponge filters I used. I mean, I guess it's possible it jumped from this tank, but I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know where it's from. We'll have to see. What else is going on in the fish room, folks? Um, oh, more fry. Let's talk about more fry. There's quite a bit of newer fry in the Red Wag Swordtail tank. And after, I think, two or three batches of no um, red brick swords, I believe there's a couple in here as well. No fry from the red brick swordtails while we're talking about that, but. I've seen a couple more males develop. I think two more males develop a sword, so maybe they'll be coming of age soon and we'll have some fry. We shall see. 
Let's mosey on over here. Give you a quick update of the beta. We have named him Bruce. I'll do a whole nother video on that later though. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, gently caress the notification bell after you Hulk smash the subscription button if you haven't done so already. Hit me up at uh, michaelsfishroom at gmail.com if you have questions. And don't forget my live stream, which will be this coming Thursday, I believe at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and the reason for that is with the time change being 13 hours, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be at work, actually, so, which will be 9 o'clock Friday morning. I know it's confusing. All right, I got to go uh, fix a air tube that came off. Look at this sick fish, and uh, that's that. See you on the live stream. Hey, guys, just kidding. The video is not over. Uh, I've attached a video from about a year ago. I went to... Aqua Forest in Shinjuku, which is part of Tokyo in Japan, and um, just so you guys can take a look and see what Japan fish stores are like if you haven't already. Um, I will be doing another fish store tour from Japan um, going on Saturday, I think, um, to another fish store that I haven't been to. There's about four right around in center Tokyo, kind of, sort of, and uh, this one is one I haven't been to yet, so... I'm going to go check that out, and uh, you'll see that video probably when I get back. Maybe I'll edit it in Japan, but stay tuned. Enjoy. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Gently caress. Gently caress the notification bell. But you can Hulk smash the subscribe button. That's fine. Enjoy. Well, I'm here with the forest in Shinjuku. Yeah, look around. Everything is beautiful. Look at these pants. Lots of shrimp. CO2. And the lights. Look at this tank. Autos. Cool rock. CO2. Goldfish. I'm not going to tell you I know the names of these fish, but those are these fish. Wow, those are cool. It is Sunday afternoon here in Shinjuku, and the store is packed. I'm going to try to sneak around and look at all the plants, show you as much as I can. The fish. The tanks look amazingly clean. You can see how many there are. Lots of plants. I mean, a lot of plants, and they all look great. There are some more plants and little tiny fish. There have to be there's at least twelve tanks this size just full of different plants. All look like they're thriving. Doing well. Many people looking around. Hatch a fish, neon, very cool little fish, black neons I think, angels, flat ones, lots of display tanks, I don't know. Something's two hundred dollars. Nineteen thousand four hundred forty-eight is almost two hundred dollars. They look like puffers. Yeah, little puffers. <laughs> different plants. All the tanks are immaculate. So 
Now there's something really cool over here, which order from the farm car. You see the air coming out of the sand. Very cool. Very cool. Here's a guppy tank. Lots of guppies. Lots of plants. Lots of fish. More plants. Moss. There's their station for bagging. And so we have some guppies here. This says they were born in Japan. Some black guppies. Those are pretty cool looking half blacks. Looks like blue cobras. Blue English lace, maybe. These little tiny tanks all have one of those sponge filters in the back. I don't know how they change the wire. I might have to ask. It's pretty cool. Lots of goods. Another show tank, CO2. Pretty cool. Wood. Here's some food. So here's a 70 gram bag of Kakari Fancy Guppy food, which is about three times as much as you can get in the United States. It's about 13 bucks. It's a little, a little expensive, but pipettes, all kinds of water supplements. Dry goods and tools. So I can sneak by here. Some more scent. Lots of like, escaping tools. Filters. So this filter is like a double sponge filter that you buy on Amazon for six bucks. And it's like 30 bucks. Things are expensive in Japan. Eheim tubing, Eheim parts, lots of Eheim stuff. Lots of Eheim stuff. <laughs> More filters, lots of CO2 stuff. Filters, filter media, more filter, filter media. And this little bag is 800 yen, which is like 7.75. Pretty expensive. I'd love to show you more of those. Really, really crowded, and I don't really want to talk too loud. I don't want to be that loud American, so that's the tour of Fish Store in Shinjuku. Well, I found a really cool looking pleco. I don't know what kind it is. If you know what kind it is, let me know. It's really cool looking. If you can read Japanese and translate, uh, my, my buddy here can't really translate it right yet. Laura Caria Red. I don't know what that translates to, but it's pretty cool. There's another cool one. There's its name. Uh, I'll probably be back with more video. Now I'm back looking at the bedders. Look at them. Gorgeous. I wish I knew more about them, but I don't. kept in these little tanks. Like, can't be more than a gallon. Probably less, but they all have little little filters. 
There's some more guppies too. There's a guppy tank. There aren't, there aren't that many people left in the store so I can walk around some more. <laughs> guppy tank. Not too much stuff that I uh, keep. A couple angels, there's some platinums over there. Here are some albinos over here. Lots of guppies, I do keep guppies, but I haven't seen any rams, not too many cichlids. I have some pretty cool plecos all over the place. This one is very intriguing. It's listed as a sailfin pleco, and it looks like it's only less than a hundred bucks. About ninety-six dollars, but blue eyes are cool. Oh look, he's saying hello. Tiger. Uh, There's one back there moving the filter. Actually, I don't know what that is. That's not a filter because that's the filter. But that gray thing, space power fit. Maybe it's a power heat. Another Eheim internal filter, sponge filter. Let's look at these guys. Very cool. Very cool. There are some Cory Gladys. Looks like they're about four fifty each. Not bad. Looks like they're in great shape. They all look very similar, very similar pattern though. You know, usually you see different orange in the head, orange in the tail, and white in the middle, but some more different pattern. I don't, I don't really see those with those, I don't know why. Oh. Some more fish. More puppies. Cories, Cories. I've never seen anything like it. More moss you could buy. There's their station. You walk around with those silver trays and people pick out plants. And, and if you just want one stem, you just get one stem. There's a little guppy in there. Well, nobody's asked if I need help yet. Which is good, because I would have to bumble my jar Japanese to say no. Of course I'd ask them if they speak English. And I tell them I don't speak much Japanese in Japanese. And then I'd say no thank you. Lots of plants. Lots of plants. Alright. I never like videos where people don't talk, but I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know how to describe them. I don't know, you know, what all the fish are called. That's a ram, I can say that. <laughs> so, South American set, but there's a couple in the back too. These tanks are deep, much deeper than I thought. Some more rams. <laughs> Here, puppies, more tiny, tiny fish. I haven't seen any shrimp now that I think about it. I'm gonna have to look for shrimp. This little turtle. It'd be a pretty cool setup. 100 bucks for the turtle. wood all priced out. I should probably go back inside. I have this guppy food, which actually is much cheaper than the United States. About 13 bucks for 70 grams. Uh, 
I found the biggest one you can buy in the United States is 0.77 grams, and it's like five bucks. This is 10 times as much, so I'm gonna buy it. Plus it's cool, it's all in Japanese, ha <laughs> ha. All right, I think that's gonna be it for now. I just noticed a cool waterfall with all these plants. All right, that's it. Well, that's a nice finger. Hey guys, why don't you stay tuned and take a look at a fish store tour from Japan that I did about a year ago. Um, and this is stupid. Hey guys, stay tuned for a fish room tour from Japan. This video is a year old from uh, my trip from last June. I have an itch on the nose and it couldn't wait. Hey guys, stay tuned. Uh, I attached last year's fish 